All right, guys, welcome to another session, how to work out or calculate distances. Right, so we've got our topographic map. I've zoomed into a, to an area, um, and you'll notice right on top, and I spoke about this in my first video, how to work out coordinates, I mentioned the scale. And we've got the number here, 1, 2, 50, Thousands. So what does this number represent? It represents the following, that for every centimeter that you measure on this topographic map equals to 50,000 centimeters in reality. So one centimeter on the map equals to 50,000 centimeters in reality and where you will find this area. Now, a very important thing to note, when we're doing map work calculations, like distances, you need a ruler and a piece of string. So please make sure that you guys bring a piece of string and a ruler on the day that you're writing map work. All right, so a very key thing when we're doing the map work calculations is that we know, and you've been taught, that if you have to work out the answer in kilometers, you take the answer that you've measured in centimeters and you times it by, that's right, 0 0.5 kilometers. If you have to write the answer in meters, you times your answer that you've measured in centimeters by 500. Now we're going to do the following example. We're going to do the distance, and if I say the distance as the crow flies, I'm referring to a straight line. So we're going to take, and you're going to take your, your uh, non-permanent uh, fine liner, and you're going to draw a line between these two spots out. So we want to know what is the distance as the crow flies from spot at 825 to spot at 835, or 832. Take our ruler, you've got to be very accurate when you're doing this. Okay, of course, this is now going to be completely different to the maps that you're going to be using, the scale, because it's been projected. And the answer over here is 185. 185. Okay, well, we can't say millimeters, so it's going to be 18 points. 5 centimeters, 18.5 centimeters. So remember when you're working with uh, distances on the map, you don't revert back to uh, millimeters like you've done with the coordinates, but you actually use the centimeter. All right, so just double check this again, and it's, yes, 18.5 centimeters. So what do we do? We want the answer in kilometers, we take 18, 0.5 centimeters times 0 0.5 or 18.5 times 500 for meters. Okay, I'm going to do that with a calculator. You can do it without a calculator, but it's just uh, simpler if you do it with 1 times 0 0.5. And the answer is 9.9. .9 0.25 kilometers. It's very important that you guys write the unit down. Just don't write 9.25 because you will get it in, it will be marked incorrect. Okay? So if we take 18.5 times 500, our answer would be 9,250 meters. Again, very important, make sure that you have the unit at the end. Okay, when, when we have to work out, for example, uh, a, a question, when the question states, please work out the distance of the hiking trail found in block A9, where it intersects with, intersects with the road to uh, block B10. Then you take a piece of string and you place the piece of string very carefully 
along um, the line over here. So I'm just going to grab a piece of string. You guys can bring more or less about 30 centimeters. 30 centimeters sh should be enough for you guys to work with. And then basically all you do, you take a piece of string on the map and you measure it. Okay, you've got to be very careful that you work as precise as possible. Now you'll notice the, the path is not always straight, so the string makes it much easier to measure this entire section. Right, and then with your fine liner, you just mark the area where you have ended off. Of course, I'm using my coke here, so my coke is smudging the, the um, I can I say, the piece of string. And you take a piece of string, don't stretch it out, just place it normally next to your ruler and then you measure this, the distance that it was. Of course this is, uh, bypasses my uh, ruler, it won't go longer than your ruler, the maps that you guys are using. But be, please guys, please make sure that when you're writing down the answer that you've written down your measurements, 18.5 centimeters, you'll get a uh, correct answer for the measure. You, and also you've got to measure very carefully. Times 500 if we ask for you to uh, do the answer in meters. 500, you get a mark for that. And you get a mark for your final answer if you have the unit included. Okay guys, that's a wrap on working out distances.